Dr. Paul here. Do what scares you and conquer your fear. Why do I bring this up? I want to tell you, I see too often, and it's actually, this is more for us adults. We are immobilized by, I'll just call it fear, of tackling some of those biggest things we need to be tackling. You know, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. Make sense? So somewhere along the line, I learned that lesson and I was able to figure out that if I want to achieve something different, I'm going to have to put out something different. And usually that means doing something that's uncomfortable, something that maybe puts you out of your comfort zone, stretches you a little bit. You know, a lot of times I'll use, a, I'll use an example because this one just happens to apply to me. Um, let's just use weight loss. Now, you know, two thirds of us in America need to lose weight. So most of you can relate to this one. And how do we get there? It is not easy, folks. It is not easy because what we're surrounded with is basically opportunities to sabotage a good diet, opportunities to be sedentary, sit there and watch TV, watch shows, watch, you know, get on our computer. Technology has made it so it's, you almost have to schedule yourself to go get some exercise, right? And I almost think it's that fear of failure. You know, what if I try and, and people see that I failed, right? Well, who cares what people see? Why don't you just put it out there, put, make a, a goal for yourself. It doesn't have to be weight loss. Make it any goal that you know is worthy and then set a plan and start making the, the necessary steps to get there, even if it's scary, okay? And that's how you achieve things that were previously unimaginable, whether it be health, weight loss, or something in business, for example, or, or if you're in school, uh, you've got to put in effort, obviously, you've got to conquer those fears, you've got, to, you've got to stay consistent, persistent, and you can achieve something you never thought you were going to be able to achieve before. So you might be watching, think, who the heck are you to tell me about having it hard? You're a doctor, right? Well, I'll just... All right, I'm gonna embarrass myself, but I'm gonna share something kind of personal. I found out after high school that I wasn't gonna be a preacher like my dad or a minister. I just thought, no, I couldn't do that. I wanted to be a doctor. So I did pre-med. It was not easy. My first college, Kalamazoo College, I was getting B's and C's. It was ridiculous. I changed schools because I could see it wasn't gonna happen there. I was having failure. Next school, school grades were better. I really dug in, but I finished with a 3.3, because when you average a 2.5 with a 3.5, you get a 3.0. If you average a 4.0 for two more years, you end up with a 3.5. That wasn't enough, folks, even with a reasonably okay SAT to get into medical school. I went on and got a master's. So first round, 12 applications, I received 12 letters. Basically, I ended up with a few interviews, did not get in. The next year I applied again, did not get in. I went on and finished the masters, retook my MCATs, and after opening, I believe it was 29 rejection letters, I ended up getting into medical school. So I do know about failure, that's just one illustration, one example, and I just want to let you know if it's a worthy cause and there's even a remotest possibility that you could achieve this, go for it. Just go for it. Try to enjoy the journey though. My mistake was I was so focused on just getting there that I didn't enjoy the process. And it would have been 10 times better if I just enjoyed the journey. So enjoy the journey, set some goals, and try to have fun while you're doing it. You can do this. If you happen to be watching this and you have kids, just realize your kids are watching you. And if they can see you struggle and strive and achieve, have some successes and failures, they're gonna learn from your experience as well. Interestingly enough, our kids do better in following, you know, do as you do, not as you say. And, um, you know, plain and simple, we've gotta lead by example. So, um, thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Paul.